Hey, I'm Enigma Hood. I woke up this morning and I just decided to check out uh, my YouTube and read any comments I got. And I got a, a comment from this one YouTube user who uh, commented on my my video, uh, Greatest Misconception Number One: uh, Birds Evolve from Dinosaurs. And he uh, did not accept. Uh, the fact that birds and dinosaurs are one and the same. Birds are dinosaurs. And he didn't even accept that uh, birds are reptiles at all. He didn't accept the phylogenetics. Well, I refuted all of his points, and I'll get to that later, but I decided to check out his channel, and I saw a video that he made about Megalodon. And when I watched it, I couldn't believe uh, the shit that he was saying. So I thought, you know... You know, I'll, I'll, I want to respond to this guy because he's spreading disinformation, and that's really, really annoying. So let's just watch his video and see what he's saying, shall we? Hello, welcome back to Bible Keynotes. My name is Kareem Robinson, and today we're going to discuss um, evolution. Evolutionists claim that the methadone shark is extinct, and I strongly disagree. It's widely accepted that Megalodon is nothing but a huge great white shark. But we still have huge great white sharks alive still today, so I don't think it's safe to say that Megalodon is extinct, and we still have them alive today. But what we do know is that Megalodon grew larger than what he did in the past. And we know that because of the teeth. This is a great white shark tooth. It's less than an inch long, probably almost an inch. And what we know from um, sharks is that every inch of shark represents every 13 to 15 feet of length. The shark tooth is roughly around almost an inch, I would say. So I would say the shark is around probably 10 feet, maybe even nine. Not a big shark, but um, this is a megalodon shark tooth. And one thing you should notice about these two shark teeth are that they are identical to each other. Now, not all shark, sharks don't have, like different species don't have the same amount of teeth. They don't have the same size teeth. Now, um, hammerheads, their shark teeth, they're different from the great whites. You know, thresher sharks are different. Pretty much the different kinds of sharks have different kinds of teeth. But as we see here is that the great white shark tooth is identical to the megalodon shark tooth. But we, what we do notice is that one is smaller and one is larger. So I feel that it's safe to say that Megalodon is still alive and well. He just don't grow as big as we find a fossil record as um, animals that are still alive today, but they don't grow as big. For instance, um, fossil elephants were found 18 feet long, 18 feet tall. Fossil oysters so big you can sit on them. Uh, fossil salamanders are around like 6 feet long. We found fossil dragonflies, you know, with a, 50, with a five foot wingspan. So I seem to say that everything grew larger back in the day, but they just don't grow as big. Now, the first thing I question is whether either of those are what he claims that they are. This is actually what a megalodon shark tooth looks like. And as you can see, it's about 17 centimeters diagonal. That's over half a foot. His tooth, which he's saying is a megalodon shark tooth, is too small. This is a picture of a megalodon shark tooth compared to a quarter, American quarter, and uh, two great white shark teeth. Now look at the great white shark teeth, and look at the size, and then look at his tooth that he's claiming is a, a great white shark tooth. They're not the same. And it's not the right size. I don't know what he has, but it's, it's not a great white shark tooth, and that's not a megalodon tooth. It's probably just some kind of artificial piece of junk, if I were to guess. Uh, but anyway, as for the, the claim that uh, a megalodon is just a big great white shark, actually, scientists believe that not only are they two distinct species, which they are, but... In the past, it has been suggested that perhaps a megalodon was closely related to a great white shark. Today, scientists believe this is not even the case. Scientists believe that perhaps megalodon 
uh, had a different lineage. The great white shark is more closely related to an ancient shark ca called uh, Isaurus hastalis, which means a uh, broad toothed mako. Now, there is similarity between the two teeth, but they're not identical. There are differences, and that the differences, I mean, the similarities are actually somewhat superficial. The similarity, though, uh, could be attributed to just um, convergent evolution. I mean, these animals uh, were uh, apex predators in their respective times. As such, they would have evolved similar looking teeth. That's not uncommon. This happens all the time. Now, I also want to point out that there have been great white fossils, great white shark fossils that have been dated at 16 million years old. The Megalodon has been dated as being uh, 1.5 to 30 million years old. So, these life forms could have actually coexisted with each other. You could have had Megalodons in the oceans and you could have had great white sharks in the oceans. It's possible. Uh, the taxonomy classification of these of these extinct animals, megalodon, as well as other uh, uh, ancient sharks, is disputed. It's hard to tell because we don't get a lot of fossil evidence from these animals. Uh, mostly, what we get are the teeth because they're hard, but the bones of sharks is made of cartilage, and that doesn't preserve very well. So um, we have to make a lot of uh, best guesses, and you know. Uh, we, we make do with what we can. But the problem with what this guy is doing is that he is, he already has an agenda going on. It's, there's no question about it. He's a creationist. I, I have no doubt in my mind that he's a creationist. So that is his goal right from the start. And so trying to debunk evolution and, and say that, oh no, these animals are the same animal, they're just different sizes. Uh, he's he's just trying to push the agenda of, of a creation uh, story. That's it. it. Has nothing to do with anything else. Yeah, I guess that's all I want to say about uh, Megalodon and his video. But I do want to uh, talk a little bit about what he wrote on my channel, and because it's just so ridiculous. I mean, it's it's absurd. All right, this is what he wrote. This is stupid. There are more differences between birds and reptiles. Birds lay hard eggs. Reptiles lay leather eggs. Birds have beak, beaks. Reptiles don't. Birds have hollow bones. Reptiles don't. And besides, dinosaurs are just big lizards. There is no proof that lizards can turn to birds over a long period of time. No offense to the guy making the video, but this is just something you have to believe for religion? I don't even understand that. But that gives away the fact that this guy has an agenda. Okay, let's see. The first point, birds lay hard eggs, and reptiles lay leather eggs. All dinosaurs laid hard eggs, just like birds. Birds have beaks, reptiles don't. Really. Some dinosaurs had beaks. The Gigantoraptor had a beak. Look, just look at this picture. Duh, I wonder what that is. It's a beak. Uh, Gigantoraptors are in the uh, the group uh, the Oviraptor, and uh, Oviraptors had beaks. Yeah, some dinosaurs had beaks, and they had feathers too. Uh, birds have hollow bones. Some dinosaurs had hollow bones, or at least they had some uh, hollow bone structures. Dinosaurs are just big lizards. No, they're not. No, they're not. Lizards have a stance that sprawls out to the side. The reason why dinosaurs are so distinct from other reptiles is because they have an erect pillar-like stance. All of them do. That's what separates them from other reptiles. Lizards don't have that kind of stance. Uh, and But guess what? You know what other life form does have that kind of stance? Birds. Birds are reptiles. And they're dinosaurs too. The evidence points towards that. And there's really no controversy in the scientific community regarding this. There's only controversy among creationists, because they have an agenda to push.